Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have a super exciting new box to try with you. This is Taste Crate. So we got this box, tastecrate.com. It costs $39.99 per month. It is a monthly subscription box and their focus is on unique, healthy, and hard to find snacks. Which sounds right up our alley. Don't get us wrong. <laughs> we like some not so healthy snacks too, but we're always looking for different alternatives and things that some of you might find interesting or would maybe fit into your healthy lifestyle as well. So we're gonna try these and let you know what we think. They did send this to us as a gift for review, so we should let you know. And uh, I don't know, we'll give you our honest opinion. How about that? Yeah, um, let's see, $39.99 uh, per month. You can cancel any time. Um, it does seem, uh, it is, I guess, one of the more expensive boxes that we have um, um, tried, mm -hmm. but this is a huge box. It's massive and it comes with 15 to 20 snacks. Right. And I think, and it does include shipping. We should yeah. say that yeah. too. But I think you'll find that if you want to get a fruit snack, you can get those anywhere for a $1.50 or whatever. Now you want organic, healthy, you know, you start adding some of those keywords on and right. the price goes up immensely. Oh, sure. So, you know, I think that sounds fair for maybe for that number of snacks, but we're going to chat. Yeah, we're going to chat we'll and let, you, let know you know at the end. At yeah. the end. But, you know, I am looking forward to this because, you know, we do try a lot of snacks for our, our videos. And, uh, you know, a lot of them are just packed full of sugar and I, I would love to have some other options. Right. You, what you don't see in our videos because we cut it out <laughs> or <laughs> whatever is on the days where we're filming and it's back to back to back to back and it's sugar on top of sugar on top of sugar between. I'm like, how many more yeah. we need to headaches, be done? Yes. Yeah. You know, stomach aches, headaches. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So this is exciting. Let's... Hopefully we'll find some new favorites in here. All right, let's see what we get. We're just going to pop it open here. Okay. Oh, and some of these are really big size, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just a little taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, taste great. Card. Just, ooh, and a drink. Nice. I'm sure some of this stuff Laura will not be able to have. I like what it says, guilt-free snacks, almost. I like that. <laughs> nice. I like them a lot. So, if you're new to our channel, hello and welcome, we should say. We like to eat savory to sweet, so I think we should do that in this box as well, right? It might be a little difficult to determine what that is, though, because, like, that is popped water lily seeds. I imagine that's I've savory? Never in my life. I imagine. Never in my life have ever heard of that. This is sweet potato fries. So savory, savory. Things that we know that are savory over here. Freeze dried raspberries. All right, and what is this drink? It's an energy drink. Yeah, what does it say? Cosmic Stardust, naturally flavored energy. I have to tell you, we're sci-fi nuts. We love, we love us some sci-fi. This is some of my favorite packaging I have ever seen. That's pretty cool. I love the colors. I love what it looks like. I know that has nothing to do with the product, but I mean, it has everything to do with the product. It has nothing to sure. do with the taste, but I love how it looks. <laughs> Let's Ooh, start like over that. here. What are those fries? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm going to pick a snack. And we're just gonna get into I mean, it. We gotta try this because I mean I am so curious as to what that's gonna taste like. So this says Himalayan. I don't have my glasses on, but I think this is what this package <laughs> says. Himalayan pink salt. Again, beautiful, beautiful packaging. Yeah. Um, Bohana, I think oh, I it think says that's... free spirit snacking, popped water lily seeds light crunchy satisfying 
Let's give it a shot. I kind of excited about that. I guess. Me too. Never even knew that was a thing. Me neither. Let us know if you have heard of this before. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It has a resealable thing, but it didn't want to come Whoa. apart. Oh. It's kind of like uh, like puffed rice or something is what it feels like. Almost like, um, yeah, or like a Puff cereal. Yeah. Like yeah. It looks like sugar snacks, kind of. Kinda. The cereal. Okay, ready? Sure. Cheers. Cheers. The texture is like sugar snacks, kind of, or popcorn, but more dense than popcorn. Mm, the salt, I can definitely taste that. Hmm. How odd. I, I mean, not that these are so odd, but I never even heard of that. I never even knew that that was a thing. Me neither. It's got a different taste than I've had before. Uh -huh. It's hard to describe. I think it's like if popcorn and sugar smacks had a baby, texturally. Right. And then it's salty, like popcorn, yeah. but not super salty, and it's not buttery. Mm -hmm. It has kind of a, a nutty taste to it, too. Kind of like um, if you threw um, like sunflower seeds into the mix, sort of. Um, mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Uh, if you didn't know, I have a nut allergy, so we're always on the hunt for, you know, making sure that things are safe for me to eat. But... Because of that, a lot of trail mixes, granola bars, things like that, I can't eat. But I still love that salty, uh, crunchy, I still crave that kind of snack. And there's not that many healthy options if you're in the same boat as I am. Right. If you have a nut allergy, go look for healthy snacks in this genre. Like, right, right. There's just not a lot. I, I really like these, actually. Mm. I don't love them. Like right. I don't love them, but more than popcorn, let's say. Oh, that's a that's a reach to but I, go past popcorn. But I like them. Yeah. More so than I would think if you if I said, hey, I picked you up some water lily seeds to try. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. better than what it sounded like. Very interesting. Very good. I like it. Okay. Next, you want to try this one? This, yeah, that's I'm interested in that as well. So this is oh, sweet potato oh, fries. Oh Naturals Sweet Potato Fries. Sweet Potato Fries. What do you think about regular sweet potato fries? I don't. She doesn't like them. She doesn't like I think they're okay. I mean, I've, I've had good ones. I've had bad ones. So. Um, I don't like sweet potatoes. Mm. So we'll see how this... <laughs> well, we'll see how What's this goes. What's the flavor on this? Also, I always want them to be fries. Right. You know, you look like fries and you smell like fries. You don't yeah. taste like fries. Right. But I know they're a thing. I know a lot of people love them. What did you say? What is the flavor? Mesquite barbecue. I do love barbecue things. They're very thin, like McDonald's fries, kind of. The same shape. The same okay. cut. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, I like the barbecue. The barbecue flavor is good. They're a lot crunchier than I thought they were going to be harder. Me too. They're along the shoestring potato mm -hmm. line with crunch and everything. There's a sweetness that I like in that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not, um, you know, like you said that you're not a fan of sweet potatoes. It's not overly sweet potato tasty. Mm -mm. If that makes any sense. Here's the thing. Let me clarify I like sweet potatoes done savory. Mm -hmm. I don't like sweet potato, you know, how like a lot of people take it and ruin it, in my opinion. What, put marshmallow on Marshmallows it and, and butter and blah, blah, blah. I don't, I, don't, like, I don't like that either. But I do, I have had sweet potatoes chunked up small, like in a soup or something that I've liked, mm -hmm. but I don't like them sweet. The flavor on those is amazing. I really like the crunch. I wouldn't even know that those are sweet potato, to tell you the truth. There, there's a vibe, but um, different than what I thought. Yeah, we've had some things that were like similar than this, 
like, you know, regular snack type yeah. stuff. And it was like airier and not as crunchy. I kind of like, I like that crunch. I do too. And I like how savory they are. They're mm -hmm. very salty or maybe not salty. Maybe it's the barbecue. There's the flavor is really there. Yeah. I like those. I like these. Very much. Me too. We should probably go back and talk a little bit about um, serving size. So let's okay. go back to these. All right. Let's go back to these. So serving per or serving calories per serving, 110. And, and how many servings? Two servings per container. So half the thing is 110 calories. Yeah. And I can tell you, I probably wouldn't sit and eat the whole thing. I don't know, put on a movie and I might, but. Um, Three grams total fat, um, 190 milligrams of sodium, 20 grams of car total carbohydrate, and then three grams protein. Okay. Serving size is about 21 pieces and you get 120 calories. So it's less calories than actually the. Yeah. And a lot more Water flavor, lines. actually. Yep. 125 milligrams of sodium. This has got some potassium in it. Nice. Okay. 16 grams carbohydrates. So. Okay, Good. so yeah. Which one do you like better? Uh, the fries. Uh, I do too. I like them both though. I do. Um, Pop Zero White Cheddar Dairy Free Cheesy Goodness. Dairy so, Free Cheesy Goodness. I'm always looking for nut free i can eat things that were produced in a factory where there's nuts i just can't eat nuts directly or i may or may not have a problem but if you like to be careful but um so i feel for the for my dairy free cousins in uh, right, <laughs> food right. because i think it's kind of hard to find snacks that are dairy free right as well Ooh. looks I... like popcorn <laughs> popcorn Ready? Ready. Oh, Cheers. sorry. <laughs> also, we should say, if you follow our channel, you know, popcorn is one of our favorite snacks. We make cheese corn, we make popcorn, we make caramel corn, we love it. And Laura loves cheese popcorn, so what do you think about this white cheddar that's not cheddar? Hmm. I think I'm telling the truth that I've never had white cheddar popcorn. Oh, really? I've Dairy free or not. Maybe once, but it wasn't memorable. I am a get your fingers coated in orange <laughs> cheddar popcorn girl. Um, I like this. Mm. I think it's really I think good. It's, I think it's good too. I, I don't, for me, I mean, obviously the color is not there, which doesn't bother me whatsoever. White cheddar is basically just colorless cheddar to me so right um i'm just the reason i even brought that up at all is because you don't see it as often you if right. you go to get cheese corn you usually see orange orange yeah cheese it's corn. all yeah. over your fingers but yeah the taste is there for sure mm -hmm. i like that very, very much me too okay that is now my favorite mm. i believe well actually what's that this is freeze-dried raspberries. Okay, so are we done with, yeah, these are all the similar things. Let's rank them. All right. Like we ordinarily do. Actually, they're in my order. Okay, I would just switch it around and these fries were my favorite out of those savory-ish snacks. Yeah, I can say though, I would highly, highly, highly recommend if you already know that you like, I mean, you know if you like popcorn or not, and if you're a fan of cheese corn, you're gonna like this. This, you don't have to like sweet potatoes, I don't think, because I really don't. I think if you like salty, crunchy, you're gonna like this. I would highly recommend that. This, I don't know if I can highly recommend. I like it, I do, but I don't know if you would. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the texture is a little bit, different but I, but I like I still liked it yeah it's good to good to try um, I liked it enough it was just kind of that aftertaste that's with it that kind of threw me off a little bit but other than that it was fine 
Dollar. It's good to try stuff. I was like really interested in trying that. Well, so. yeah, and you know how we love to try food from other cultures, other countries, whatever. Um, it's it's nice to be pushed out of your comfort zone. Right. And those will. You get, never know what you're gonna like, what you're not gonna like. Those will get eaten. We'll we'll finish that for sure. But if I had a dollar in the vending machine, right? Yeah. I would buy popcorn, and you mm -hmm. would buy these fries, right? Yep. Okay. For sure. All right, now what? Well, we still have some savory stuff. It's you know just what I'd different like to, type. You know what I'd like to do? What's that? Let's take a drink. Oh, let's take. Let's a take drink. a mid, a mid video little drink. All right, this is. Uh, I'm trying to read the name. Elani New. Okay. Oh, Elani New. Um, just say it fast. <laughs> yeah. Cosmic Stardust is the flavor. Okay. Um, and it is an energy drink, so let's pop it. Oh, let's look at it first. Calories, there are 10 calories. Which. In the can. That's crazy for an energy for drink. For an energy drink. That's Absolutely. crazy good for an energy drink. Yeah, five carbohydrates. Okay. Um, and then nothing else, really. My knock with this is, unless it says somewhere that John is not seeing, which could be a thing. I am not a fan of companies that do not say, that say things like Cosmic Stardust and you have no idea, idea what, the flavor, what the flavor is. I wish oh. it would say Cosmic Stardust and then it would explain later what it is because some flavors you just stay away from. You know, like I would never choose it if it were mango, so you better not be you mango. You should smell that flavor and I, it smells familiar and I think you'll like it. Oh, it smells like candy. It does. It smells like kind of blueberry-ish and... <laughs> Let me taste the Stardust. Give me a baby bottle <laughs> full of that. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. It does taste like candy. O M G. I'm not exaggerating. I've liked what we've tried so far. This is a freaking winner. Cheers <laughs> to you and to me and to you. I love this one. Don't you? It's good. Yeah. 10 calories? Yes. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. All right. No, a few more savory things. All right. These can probably go with granola. We I should guess. probably tell them though what that tastes like. <laughs> it's hard to describe. It, candy. It tastes like candy. It tastes like a fruity. You picked some sort of fruity candy like Skittles, let's say, that has all different flavors and you kind of mix them up mm -hmm. and are chewing them up in your mouth. It's not one particular fruit, I don't think. We'll have oh, to look at right. the... And it's carbonated. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we mentioned that, but it is. Um, delicious. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. These are plant-based, munchy, crunchy protein snack, rock and ranch flavor. Oh, it is nut-free. Yay! You can eat it. Gluten-free, nut-free, four net carbs. Nice. Uh-oh. Open up. There's bubbles and bits in there. I have no idea what they are. You're always looking for alternatives. To I it. always want crunchy little bits. And yeah, I don't know what any of these things are. My grandpa would call this bird seed. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever things are all mixed up, it didn't matter what it was. He would always, you know, be like, it's your bird seed. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm going to get what I want to do is get um, different flavors in one bite. Yeah. It almost looks like move your drink. little beans or something. I don't I don't know. Yeah, it does look like beans. Okay, ready? Go. Yeah. Definitely soybeans in there. Mm-hmm. They're super salty. It's got a good chew on it. Mmm. 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 I think I grabbed too much. <laughs> I do too, and nobody can get them back in the thing. I like those. Very salty. Um, 
I will and would eat them just like that. But also, you know what mm. I could see them being awesome for? Is in like Chex Mix. You know, I can't put nuts in Chex Mix. Right. I think that'd be great. Or in a trail mix, you know, like with pretzels and some other things. Mm -hmm. It says on the package, toasted whole beans. Mm. And then uh, satisfying, packed with protein. Also great with salad, soup, or stir fry. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, because there's a lot of stir fries that you can't have because they have nuts in them. Yeah, we should save them and make like pad thai or something that... But also salads. I am a texture girl. I love to chop up like break up like little Fritos or tortilla mm -hmm. strips, you know, those little crunchy things or whatever. I like that stuff more than, uh, or crackers even. Yeah. I like that stuff on my salad more than I like croutons and I really love it when it's salty. Mm -hmm. That's perfect that for that. That would be perfect for that. Awesome. Brave, good, kind, tender chicken bar. Mm. This is teriyaki flavor. Nice. I don't think I've ever had a chicken meat stick like that. I don't think so either. I've seen turkey for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get it open enough. I'm just gonna take a bite. Okay. It smells just like a regular teriyaki meat stick. Mm, the texture is nice. Mm-hmm. I like that. It's, Me too. It is tender. Um, got a good bite on it. The teriyaki flavor is really good. It's not overly salty. It's not what I, you know how I am. <laughs> a lot of times when we eat meat st sticks and stuff like that, it's too spicy or what. There's no heat to that whatsoever. It's just right. flavor, which I like. And there, there are some like meat sticks that just tastes greasy mm -hmm. and I like that this does not I mean it kind of feels a little greasy but it's not greasy it's because on your, of the sauce yeah right but it's not greasy on your palate That's, yeah yeah I like that the the texture is super nice it's white it doesn't feel sometimes meat sticks too I don't know if the calories and everything on this if you can find it but sometimes by the time you've had a meat stick you may as well have had a Snickers bar like calorie wise you know yeah. what I mean yep 70 calories Okay, that seems good, right? Uh-huh. Uh, 2.5 grams total fat. Um, carbohydrates, 5 grams. And then 8 grams of protein. Okay. Nice. Nice, all right. I like that. Me too. All right, so we've tried those two things. We've got some granola stuff here. And you know there's lots of people in the world that don't eat beef, that don't eat pork, that don't eat, you know, any red meat in general. And so it's nice to have that alternative. Turkey is not, right. no offense, we love turkey. No on offense to turkeys. Yeah, I don't want to hurt any turkey's feelings out there. <laughs> but sometimes turkey stuff is done right and done well and we like it. And then other times turkey is tasteless. Right. You know, that's good. It tastes like, you know, a meat stick but not specifically chicken. It is chicken, but mm -hmm. it, I mean, if you like beef and stuff, try that. It's yeah, still you tasty. don't taste it and say, oh, that's chicken. Right. Okay. All right, what should we try now? Mm. Any of this stuff? These seem like gr granola type Okay, things. any of them, but you just have to look for, gotta look out for nuts. Yeah, let me look at this one real quick. Okay, this is a, a set bar. It says actually good on it. <laughs> And it's a sweet and salty cinnamon flavor. Mm. So let's see what it looks like. We read the package by we, I mean John, and um, it did not say anywhere about nuts or no nuts, but it did say no this, no that, no dairy, gluten free, da 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 da. So because it didn't say any of that, we are going to have me not eat it because it doesn't say it's nut free, and I assume that if it was nut free, it would have said it in that paragraph of other things that it is not. All right, so I'm gonna try this set bar and it smells kind of like Christmas. It does, I was gonna say, it has a holiday smell to yeah. it. Yeah, sweet, salty, cinnamon. 
Mmm. It's soft. Like a granola bar? Is that what it is? A granola bar? Mmm. Something like that. Mmm. But yeah, it's a, it's soft. It's got a nice chew on it. Um, I can tell it's got something like chia seeds in there. But it looks like it's got nuts in it, so. Yeah, we'll just be safe. Yeah. It's not bad. I like the hint of, of cinnamon that it has in there. It is sweet. Mm, I'm not getting too much saltiness in it, but. Okay. That's good. All right. I would eat that for sure. Okay. That's down. Here, put your. My stuff in there. Yeah. This says Nutty Mornings, and it's a granola bar. So you better eat that one. It does have roasted almonds and coconut in it, dates, and maple syrup. Okay, eat that. All right. This is cranberry cashew compound, so. Okay, see. Lots of stuff. I'm really interested in this bear claw. I love the packaging. It's like yeah. paper. Um, definitely looks uh, seedy. <laughs> oh, oh. Mmm. This is um, much chewier than the set bar. This is solid. And it sounded hard when you mm -hmm. bit in. Yeah, it's, it's chewier, harder. Um, it feels solid. I mean, this feels like you could take this on a hike with you somewhere and have it for lunch. Yeah. It looks like it would be filling. Mm-hmm. I like the flavor of it. I like the flavor of this better than the set bar. Okay. Not that I don't love candy <laughs> or other things, sweet things, whatever, but I can definitely tell in my body when I eat empty calories versus something that mm. has, it can still be sweet, but if it has no nutritional value whatsoever, like donuts or whatever, uh, <laughs> I can definitely feel it in my body. So it's nice to have things that are different than that. Yeah, you get jittery and you know with the I get sugars headache. and yeah. uh, if I didn't mention the name, uh, the brand of this is Nutty Morning, uh, and it's a. By Bear Claw Kitchen is what it says on the bottom. So Okay, you may as well do the other one that you know for sure has okay. Look at the bottom of this package, by the way. <laughs> I just noticed it. <laughs> it's by Granola Lab Cranberry Cashew Compound. See, that sounds good. It does sound good. Whoa! We need a dog. <laughs> or a Roomba. <laughs> Dear yeah. Santa, please Ooh. send us a Roomba. I love this granola. It looks good. This type. I love the loose granola. Let me smell. Oh, that smells nice. Mm -hmm. Look at all your little snacks for the week you're going to have. That's it. I'm going on a hike. <laughs> you can go sit in the backyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put your backpack on and go sit in the backyard. Yeah. Eat your snacks. I start a fire. Ooh, the cranberries are so good. I like them. The cranberries are chewy. Mm-hmm. Lovely. I like this one a lot. Okay. Now there's this one. Is this... Some... It says strawberry vanilla. Oh, so let's do that with the fruit. Are okay. we done with all the granola-y kind of things? I think so. Okay, so do you want to... I uh... guess I'll rank them. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait. What's that one? Chocolate chip. Okay. Um... So I think this is my order. I really like the this loose granola here. We should probably have this one in here too. Oh babe. sure. Mm. I mean that one's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Out of these, because you got to try that one. Yeah. Right? Um mm, I think that's my order. I really like uh this granola, this loose granola, the bear claw, solid, mm -hmm. give you lots of energy, delicious. Mm -hmm. Um, that had good flavor. This one was the cinnamon one. Yeah, mm -hmm. softer, and then the crunchy beans. Yeah, I really, actually, I really, really like this. This is the only one I could try, but I'm happy with that. I'm mm -hmm. excited. It's very like you don't know if you don't if you know you know right. If you don't know, this makes me very happy and excited to branch out and look for things that are nutless that I've been missing out on. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Nutless. <laughs> um, okay. Mm. Next. Right. Do you wanna, should you do we do fruity the fruity stuff? Yeah. Sure. Gotta be careful not to dump this all over the place. All right. So there are freeze dried raspberries. Let me take a look at the back of this. These are like little energy bites. This. Interesting. This says this oh, is. Oh, this has cashews in it. Okay. This is a serving and a half. This whole entire thing. Whoa. Uh, and it's a hundred calories per serving. It says, "Eat what you sow." So good. So good. I'm so curious too. Um, to look up now that we have some of these names of things and companies and whatever, I'm interested to maybe look up and see what other flavors there are. Oh, yeah. Open up. Got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> hmm. I want to know. I want to see. I don't know what's going on in there. Uh, it's an, I'm now one with this pickle. It went. <laughs> right. Those are some serious raspberries in there. Yeah. That's okay. I'm dropping them everywhere, but I mean, they <laughs> honestly just look like raspberries. And you know, being freeze dried, they're light as cereal. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Uh, cheers. Cheers. Oh, you better get one out. Yeah, okay. Like an asshole when you just have crumbs. I thought you had a berry. Ready? Ooh. Oh. Ready. Woo. <laughs> That was a shock. Whoa. Woo! Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> that needs to be dusted in some sugar or something. <laughs> These are tart. Wow. <sighs> Um, I like the texture of these. <laughs> they are super tart. Maybe it's just because we're not used to it. Um, very, very, very tart. I don't love them. Not. I can't even say I like them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't like the texture. The, it's like the seeds, I think. Get stuck in my teeth or something is what it feels like. And that tartness, that is too much. What I don't like about them, I and I'm being as kind as I <laughs> can. Well, I just don't know how else to say this. The texture of those, I liked it at first. But when you put them in your mouth, it almost has the same thing as like styrofoam or like it like melts and turns to nothing. And on top of it, it's really tart. I think I'd like to see this in another color. You know what I mean? I'd like to see this in another fruit. I think I'd like it better. Mm. Freeze dried something else I might like better. I like raspberries very much, but that's, that's not my favorite. Sorry. Um, all right, next. Next. These are from AMG Snacks. These are Energy Bites, strawberry vanilla flavor, non GMO, gluten free, vegan, made with real ingredients. Dates. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Dates, oats, strawberries, cashews, vanilla. Okay. Uh, yeah. Handy dandy. Handy dandy. There we go. Put that back before somebody Thank gets you hurt. again for the knife. That is the gift that keeps on giving. Let's smell it. Yeah. It's like strawberries. Hmm. Is it supposed to? Yeah, it's strawberry vanilla. Oh, it looks like chocolate. Strawberry yeah. vanilla, and you, know, you, you see what I mean? That doesn't look like strawberry vanilla. It looks like a chocolate truffle. What's the texture like? Can let me feel it with your hand. Squeeze it. Is it like you dense? You can feel it with your hand. I yeah. don't want to. It is dense. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's an energy ball. So there's protein in there. Mm. Mm, the strawberries. It smells more strawberry than it actually mm. tastes. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Again, 
great for a hike. If I'm sitting around watching a movie or something, I'm probably not going to be eating this. Okay. But flavor's good. Texture's good. Good okay. for its purpose. All right. Now you're going to go chocolate chip. What about these gummy bears? Oh, okay. This is from Jealous Sweets. Gluten-free, sugar-free, plant-based love bears. Love bears? And they're pineapple grapefruit flavor. Give them to me. <laughs> I'll give them to you. There you go. Pineapple and grapefruit. That's what it says. I don't love the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get them out of here. Oh, I'm sure the yellow ones are pineapple, maybe. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Teeny tiny little bears. Look at the little bears. Oh, you tore off the part. Okay, I'm going grapefruit first. All right, let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. That texture is different than a regular gummy bear. Mm-hmm. I like the texture though. Mm hmm. Softer. I like that. Mm hmm. We just had something recently from another country. It was in our Canada box that reminded me of these. Oh, yeah? Not the, they're not the kind of gummies that you chew and chew and chew and they stay around, you know? Mm -hmm. You like eat through them. The texture is very nice. Okay, pineapple, my favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh, palate cleanse. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like the grapefruit very much. But that pineapple, pineapple too. is bomb. Pineapple's delicious. Wow. I mean, I don't like to play favorites, but <laughs> nobody stands a chance against pineapple. Except for blueberry. But still, pineapple is usually number one. Yeah, I, I did tear off mm. part of it, so let me see what. 42 calories. 42 calories. In a package. Okay. That seems really good. You know, I don't know how many you get. We took out a few and it's like up to here, so I mean, you don't get a lot, but. As far as the fruity stuff goes, for me, the gummies are number one. <laughs> the strawberry balls are number two, and the raspberries are very tart. I would, so if we're talking about rating on a scale of one to ten you know we can talk about that a little bit maybe at the end but these are probably some of my favorite gummies i've had they're oh, wow. the pineapple one in particular yeah. really 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 good if my favorite gummy i've ever had is a 10 this is probably an eight yeah. maybe an eight and a half i like it very much i agree with that this is probably a two yeah just being honest no. But I'm sure that, here's what I want to say. <laughs> Sorry. I'm no, sure that there is somebody who loves that kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Who, I mean, we really love raspberries. I mean, I feel like um, that might be good or better for me, for my palate, in something. Mixed with right. something. I'm kind of thinking we should have tried this one with the granolas, because I think it's a granola. But it's Lovely Day Bars. That's the brand. No nuts ever, it says on there. So you can try this. Chocolate chip, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO. And okay. let's see. 170 calories per bar. Okay. Mm, 31 total carb, 6 grams protein. Okay. I wonder why. If somebody knows this, let me know. Ooh. A lot of protein bars or snack bars, granola bars, are made in the long format, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. They're more like chocolate bar. They're thin and long, and it seems like more health-conscious bars are made like kind in of that square. shape. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's uh, to show, like, I'm a more healthy, like, do you know mm. what I mean? Or if it's just something, if it's supposed to look higher end or if there's a reason for it. There it is. There it is. There you go. Smells like a cookie. Yeah. Mmm. 
I like it. Mmm. There's oatmeal in it. And I love oatmeal in a protein bar. Me too. Mmm. Chewy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet that'd be super filling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. It's got a few chocolate chips in there. Um, mostly it's like cocoa flavor though. Yeah. I like that one very much. Mm, it's good. You want to put it back in? Can you put it back in there? Sure. Let's see what I can get back in there. So how would you rate it compared to these? Do you um, I would probably put it between the bear claw and the cinnamon one. I think this kind of loose granola is still my favorite. You know what that reminds me of is my mom had a health kick at some point in life. I was probably, I don't know, eight or something, eight, 10, something like that. And all of a sudden everything was carob instead of chocolate. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It kind of feels like that to me. You can tell it's healthier mm -hmm. than regular, you know, like a chocolate chip. It does not taste like if you go to the regular protein granola bars and get chocolate chips that's full of sugar. It has a hint of it without being overwhelming, but if you're craving something sweet and you're trying to be good, there's that's gonna satisfy that. Yeah, it and you know, it does come off as, uh, all of these bars come off as, you know, you're gonna eat them and you're gonna feel full or, you know, it's gonna sustain you longer. Right. Yeah. You know, and just having a snack like this. So. Yeah. All right. Candy now or chocolates. Well, we got these two little squares. So I'm going to try this one that is, it, this is a cookie square and it's chocolate and toasted hazelnuts. A cookie square? Yep. Oh. And then this cookie square is dark chocolate and pinch of sea salt. Pinch. Sea salt. Okay. And uh, you can do the brand if you want. I can. I can't see. Oh, nobody can see anything. <laughs> you have to. Michael and Augustine. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. My cookie has crumbled. <laughs> and this thing's all broken up. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, my cookie has not crumbled. It looks good. And cookies way crumbled. I'm trying to get there's some kind of chocolate business. Melted chocolate business. That's good. Mm, you go for it. No, you try it too. Mm, Alright. You can try both. I can't. Let me mm. see. What was yours? Uh chocolate with the cookie and to uh toasted hazelnut. Mmm. That's really good. It reminds me of like a Christmas cookie that my mom used to make. Mm. The cookie itself is very like shortbready. Mm-hmm. I love shortbread. Which we love shortbread, yeah. See what I mean? Making a mess over here. Mmm. <laughs> I like that. The yeah. salt, sea salt that Yeah, the through. salt comes through. Uh wow. A lot of stuff we've never tried before. Well, all of it we've never tried before. Yeah. I appreciate what this box is doing mm -hmm. so very much. I can honestly say that the only thing that I was confident I was going to like was this. That's the, <laughs> the only thing bears. because yeah. I just love this kind of thing. I knew I would like these. I didn't even know the flavor. I knew I would like those. Popcorn is a pretty safe bet mm -hmm. for us as well. For the cookies, I think, were a pretty safe bet. But to tell you the truth, I would not have purchased any of this, probably compared to brands that are familiar right. to us. Yeah. And so this box is amazing to get to try different things and, uh, like I said, push you out of your comfort zone. All right, so let's talk about favorite things in this box. Yeah. Uh, for me, the MVP of this box is this drink. I love this drink. I love the packaging. 
Um, the can feels nice. There, it's almost like... Yeah, it's got texture to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how it looks. I love how it tastes. I love that it's 10 calories in an energy drink. I mean, that's amazing. I love it so very much. So I can't wait to go online and see about other flavors. I also very, very, very much loved the gummy bears. The gummy, sure. And I will tell you, uh, I want to talk about two other things. I really like the cheese corn, but it's cheese, you know, it's cheese corn. I really, really did like it. For this, I have to mention because I really thought sweet potato. Yeah. I didn't think I would like it. This company won me over. I, if That's... I were to see this, if we walked into a grocery store and we saw this brand, it would make me want to try other things of theirs. They won yeah. me over. Uh, I really liked them very much. And then the other thing I want to mention in particular is this little thing of the little dried beans. And it makes me want to go check them out too and see what other things that they offer because nut free is where it's at. Yeah. Um, favorites for me, the drink again. I really like that. that the flavor is great. I don't know that I could say much more than you did. I don't know that he's going to have any more of it, but <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey. Um, I, I really like these as well. The sweet potato fries. Um, the chicken bar, I think, impressed me. I like yeah. the flavor of it. The texture was great. Um, you love the little cookies, too. Yeah, the little cookies were great. Did you talk about calories, or does it say, this is a teeny tiny little cookie. Yeah, it's just a little square. Nice, uh, though. I kind of destroyed the packaging. I can't really Kay. read it. But um, the Bear Claw, Claw Granola Bar was great. And then this granola is my other favorite on that. Um, I like the chocolate chip one as well. And I'm really interested to look up this brand and see if there are other flavors that maybe Laura would like. Because yeah. it's no nuts ever. That's right. Yeah, it's some, nutless. Something maple-y. <laughs> because maple tends to, it always tends always to be has. maple nut. Yeah. And yeah. So anyway, Taste Crate, thank you so much for sending this box to review. It's just like when we get anything, right? We don't always know if everything's going to be our favorite, but we always find something that we're impressed by. This time, several things we oh, were yeah. impressed by, and we always have a good time doing this no matter what. So we really appreciate you sending us this box to we review. Sure do. We will be going online and checking out several of these companies. If you want to check out Taste Crate or order a box for yourself, check out our link down in the comments. Yes. Also, let us know what sounds most interesting to you. And I'd love to hear from our subscribers what maybe some of your dietary restrictions slash preferences are, because we are going to try to cater to that a little bit in the future. We're going to try to do some more healthy options. We're going to be mixing that in. So you might see some keto recipes. Definitely, we're going to be trying some nut-free snacks yes. to see what I think of For those sure. and some things like that. So let us know what your dietary restrictions or preferences are in the comments as well. Don't forget to come find us on social media. Our links are in the channel banner. We are most active on Instagram. Instagram. But we have a TikTok, we yeah, have a we Pinterest, we have a Facebook. We're everywhere. Come find us. Now, if you love healthy snacks, which yeah. we do. If you like options. Yeah, finding yeah. new favorite things, being pushed outside of your comfort zone. Or Taste Crate, if you've tried it. I'd love to hear if you've tried Taste Crate before and what you thought of it. Yeah. Or us, or, or the, the video. video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.